out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. That throw good for four. It's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. Looking downfield and got his man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Toss play left. There goes Devontae Freeman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. 11 more on that one, and another first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it hey, now because it's wide open. Well, other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy is going to keep getting the football, and that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Tevin Coleman, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are an extra point away from moving out in front. Now Matt Bryant on for the point after. Bryant tacks on 